Hello and welcome to another session of Hive series. So in all our previous examples, what we have done is we have created a table. We have loaded the data into this table. We have created a partition table. We have loaded the data into this partitions table. Now, what if we have the data in HDFS already and uh, we want to create a partition table on that data. Now we have not done this before, right? We have the data and we have given the location, but that was for the normal table, but we never created the partitions on the existing data. So let's try this. Let's try to have a existing data and then let's create some partitions on it. So we already created some partition tables in our earlier classes. So what we'll do is let's make a use of one of them. So I will check this tables here. I'll say uh, show tables and uh, these are the different tables that uh, we have created. So let me take any of the partition table. I'll take this partition table. So I will I will describe format it. I just want to check where the data is residing. So this is where the data is residing. So let me check here uh, to verify if we have some data. Cool. So we have the data. So this is data related to the countries India and US. Now what I'm going to do is I already have this data here so and this is a partition data so that is very important to note so this is partition data i have it already now i want to create a table on top of it so what i will do is let me go back here and i'm going to create an external table let me call it as a partition table existing so uh, we have state we have three columns uh, remember so we the first column was state uh, then uh, we had capital and uh, what else we had uh, we had language right so uh, we want to partition this table so this is partition by country uh, the normal row format delimiter this is a uh, fields terminated by comma we have a csv file it's a test file so stored x test file and uh, the location we have to give this location yeah so this is the location partition directory so we'll use the same location all right so uh, we have this table created right so now this table is basically looking at this data this is a look this is the location or this is the directory where this data is and we have this data we have just queried it so here uh, we have the data we have two files so i so when you query this table it should read the data from here right so let's try this i will say so let's start from this uh, partition table existing let's see if i have some data now it is saying zero data but is it really zero data let's go and check here so if i pick any one of this uh, let's say I pick up India yeah, I have a file so uh, let me check this if we have any data it should have data because uh, the size is saying it has some data but uh, let us query it anyway so we have the data so why why is that we are not able to retrieve the data so what happens is when you create a partition table Partitions are generated and they are stored in the meta store, the Hive meta store. So if you try to create a partition table on the existing data, these partitions are not automatically registered in the Hive meta store. So we need to recover these partitions. So in order to recover this partition, we use something, we use a command MSCK. So we say MSCK repair table and then we have to give this table name where you know we have to add those partitions that or repair that partition so if i enter this now as you can see 
it says repair added partition to the meta store partition table existing so this is a country id country us so these partitions are now added so now if you do a select query let me limit this to let's say 10 now you you have all the data present here right so this is an important feature sometimes you want to create a data partition table on existing data and then when you query it you will not see the result so if you don't see the result make sure that you first verify that the data is available and then make sure that you repair this table so when you do an mskk report you will have these partitions registered in the high meta store from where you can basically retrieve this data right so that's it uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this session and uh, i'll see you guys in my next class